Well, a clip that went viral recently of Ben Shapiro roasting and lambasting someone. In the name Boy Scout. No big deal, right? He's done it before and he's done it quite well. He ain't lying. Well, this one turns out to be one of his own. What? Candace Owens. What the fuck? Who works for the Daily Wire. You gotta be fucking kidding. My. Oh my. Trouble in Paradise? I'm Jazz Bergonzo and this. So what's next? Happy Wednesday, y'all. Jazz Borganzo, what's next? Your daily dose, common sense, facts, and salt. Hope you guys are feeling good today. Ah, Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro has become somewhat of a legend. At the age of 17, when he came out with his first book, all the way up to owner of the Daily Wire. He has become a media mogul. But when it comes to debating, when it comes to confrontation, that is where the legend status comes into play. Normally when anybody debates him, usually they lose only because he comes prepared with facts and common sense. And of course the lawyer mentality comes out and usually gets the job done. But in a recent video or video clip that went viral, Again, he roasted and toasted someone. And you're thinking, no big deal. He's done it before. That's what makes Ben Shapiro Shapiro. But it turns out that this roasting and toasting is a little different. Why? Turns out to be one of his own, Candace Owens, who's in the crosshairs. Let's take a look. This is on Twitter X. And of course, this is Ben Shapiro making comments about Candace Owens because of her comments, recent comments, regarding Israel. Yes, uh, the, the question is about Candace Owens. I think her behavior during this is disgraceful. Without a doubt, Candace Owens is a disgrace. has been ridiculous. It's not full sophistication, it's ridiculous. Everybody can see the moves that she's making and the things that she's saying, and I find them disreputable. Now, with that being said, of course, this thing went super viral. And now it's like, is there trouble in paradise? Well, what does Candace have to say? We go to Microsoft, of course, this is Mediaite. Quote, you cannot serve both God and money. Candace Owens drops cryptic post after Shapiro slams her regarding Israel. Candace Owens posted a cryptic tweet, excuse me, a cryptic tweet on Tuesday's, uh, on Tuesday's hours after Ben Shapiro, the co-founder of Daily Wire and her boss went viral online for slamming Owens comments about Israel Hamas war. Quote, blessed are peacemakers for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are which they are persecuted and righteous and snake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revive you. <clears throat> this comes from Mediaite. Quote, you cannot serve both money. Uh, this comes from Mediaite. You cannot serve both God and money. Candace Owens drops cryptic post after Ben Shapiro slams her regarding Israel. Candace Owens posted a cryptic tweet on Tuesday hours after Ben Shapiro, co-founder of Daily Wire, and her boss went viral online for slamming Owens' comments about the Israel-Hamas war. Quote, Blessed are peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile, revile you excuse me, and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake, Owens wrote, quoting Matthew, Five nine, quote: No one can serve two masters. Either uh, you will hate the one or love the other, or you will be devoted to one and despise the other. She added, concluding, "You cannot serve both God and money." Owens followed that up with, "Christ is king." I can't disagree with it because I actually I agree with all that. While the exact meaning of the intention behind her tweet is unknown, it raised a lot of eyebrows given the timing. Hours before the Tuesday morning, a clip of Shapiro calling Owens disgraceful for her comments on Israel began to circulate online. Of course, as you just saw. 
We'll play it again. Yes, uh, the question is about Candace Owens. I think her behavior during this has been disgraceful. Without a doubt. I can't believe that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think she's been absolutely disgraceful. I think that, I think that her, her faux sophistication... He said faux, he said faux sophistication. The question is about Candace Owens, Shapiro said in the clip, I think her behavior during it has been disgraceful without a doubt. I think her faux sophistication on these particular issues has been ridiculous. He added calling her commentary on Israel... Distri disreputable. Disreputable. Excuse me. This is not the first time Owens and Shapiro have exchanged barbs over Israel and anti-Semitism. Quote, I think the ADL is a partisan hack organization too, but um, Max Blumenthal, who spends his life covering Jew for Jew haters and stumping for Israel's destruction, makes the conversation significantly worse. It's garbage, Shapiro replied to Owens after she boosted the far-left anti-Israel blogger Ma Max Blumenthal. Quote, I don't know who Black's, uh, Max Blumenthal is, but I do know that you have to uh, you have to have my number and could have informed me in earnest. Real relationships should trump Twitter theater. Let's set a better example going forward, Owens replied to Shapiro at the time. Weeks before Shapiro publicly said Owens was wrong in defending Kanye West who had spewed threatening anti-Semitic rhetoric. Let's put it this way. If she had said what Kanye said, she wouldn't be working at Daily Wire. She did not say what Kanye said. Instead, she defended her friend initially in a way I didn't like. But that's not a fireable offense, nor do I have the power of firing at the Daily Wire, which is why Michael Knowles still works there. Jokey jokey. As he said in response to a question during a Young Americans Foundation event. But here's a little thing that I just noticed. If you go on a Daily Wire page and you scroll down, you go look at a Candace Owens show. It says, no show today. Candace will be back soon. Hmm. Interesting. Now, to be honest, I read a little bit on Kenneth Owens' comments regarding Israel and Hamas. It's not that she's taken Hamas's side because she's not. She thinks Hamas is, uh, you know, is is horrid. Uh, there is no condemning what Hamas did. But at the same time, I think she was trying to look at it from an outside point of view in regarding the two sides, not trying to take. Hamas aside, but basically saying, here's what's going on with Israel and why Hamas did what they did. Now, a lot of other people have taken that stance too. Those who think independently, not just leftist douchebags, which of course Candace is far from being. But with something like this, if I was Ben, I wouldn't have went out in front of a crowd and aired the dirty laundry. I wouldn't have done that. That would have been a situation that was in-house. Not between boss and worker or employee, employer and employee. It would have been friend to friend. Ben's known uh, Candace for years. Candace has known Ben for years. So this is not the first time they've butted heads on certain issues. But at the same time, you don't air this shit out in front of the world to see. Because now, this puts Candace on the defensive end. And anybody who's watched Candace Owens knows that she will come out with claws. Uh, and she will come out, you know, blazing. So, we're going to see where this goes. As you just saw um, the website on uh, Daily Wire. Her show is suspiciously not going to air. But we can all guess why. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Borgonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. Hit that, um, or hit the bell, hit, you know, hit, hit the notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. Damn. And we'll catch you next time. Peace.